tuning in to West Nile Television and of course uh, want to welcome you one more time on board new edition and of course a new presenter I used to say uh, that is a little bit most of you should be asking hey she hasn't been the one yeah have been on the switch and here we are one more time uh, for uh, the business bank that, run, uh, that runs away every single Wednesday uh, from 10 a.m. Uh, to uh, that is uh, 11 a.m. in this very particular program we discuss business uh, once again that's why it is called a uh, business bank and we'll be looking at uh, how your business grows when you started it and how best you are doing it such that you also inspire others uh, to do uh, this very particular business and this program is run on West Nile Television you can watch us on uh, Star Times that is channel 477 and on Suku channel uh, 073 uh, that's where you'll be getting all uh, these uh, very segments uh, from and as well you follow us on YouTube and uh, Facebook we are live there to give you what exactly you need welcome on board one more time like I said today, we are right here at uh, Mashaba Collections, uh, that is uh, in the taxi park, uh, Rua City. And for you, wherever you're watching us are from, I want to say you're most welcome on board. Sit back and get the tips of how best you can run your business, how you can manage your business, and what advice you can seek, that is to start a new uh, business. No certain point is always not easy. Your host is Lady Biz. We'll be getting more of these details uh, from the gentleman who will be giving us that is how he started operating uh, this very particular business that is in Mashaba collection they deal in a lot of things we will be learning more uh, from him and all I can ask from you is sit back relax get yourself all the tips let it be to your host a very good morning one more time we are happening at Mashaba Collection, right? That is a rural a taxi park within a rural city. Like I said, it's quite interesting interacting with you. A first of its kind, Laura, that's why I said earlier on, it's my first of its kind doing this very particular uh, program. We are talking about a business bank. And this is where I did say we learn a lot of uh, business uh, tactics. For those of you out there who love to do a business, uh, this is where you will be getting the tips. How you can start it, uh, the amount you need to start this very business is what we'll be discussing right in this very particular program that is the business bank every single Wednesdays we are right on your screen all you need to do is for you to get these tips a free at no cost sit back at your living room get yourself assorted with West Nile television that is a standard a start times a 477 on Zuku it is a 0 a 73 and of course we are getting to meet this very particular gentleman at a Mashaba collection to hear from him how he started it when he started it and what challenges he's facing and the benefits that he's facing right here at uh, a taxi park at Rua city and here is the gentleman uh, hello gentleman good morning good morning madam yes uh, what's your name my name is wamunga zavias okay. yeah yes uh, that is, uh, can you tell us more about yourself uh i'm wamunga zavias uh, doing business okay. uh, the name of my business is masawa collections yeah, we are dealing uh, with the gentlemen clothes for ladies, uh, a few for kids. Yeah, the things we are dealing in are uh, jean trousers, khaki trousers, uh, shirts, t-shirts. I would love to learn something uh, so quick from you. When uh, you started uh, this very particular business, was it something that you wanted to do? Was it your dream job or it's just nature that decides for you? Uh, I, I think it's nature okay. because uh, I'm a professional social worker. Okay. Uh, I'm holding a, a bachelor's degree mm -hmm. in social work and community development. Okay. Yeah. You being a bachelor holder in a social worker, it's quite amazing. Uh, but uh, who gave you a mind or oh, what really pushed you to start uh, this very particular business apart from other businesses? Yeah. Uh, this business, uh, I got an idea from my big sister. Okay. Yeah. Who, who introduced me to this business mm. because uh, before coming this way, she was already decided. Mm. So she told me uh, this because we are here in 2017. Okay. By then, people here were not uh, more were not more in selling clothes mm. as as you see it right now. Okay. Yeah. So I was uh, I, I was inspired by my, by my big sister. Mm. Yeah. 
And of course, uh, we are still at uh, Mashaba Collection uh, with Xavier. And of course, like we did say, uh, this very one comprises of a lot of things. Here we give you quality business tips. We give you how best you can start your business, how you can do your shopping, when and uh, how you can start business with that very small little money you have. All it needs is brain and how you will be managing it. And of course, this is still a business bank and we are at uh, Mashaba Collection. Um, uh, Xavier, you, you did say uh, something uh, about uh, that is uh, you about your studies uh, before you get motivated by your sister uh, how you can do this business uh, because you know it comes with a little bit of risk that one I don't want us to look at it right now uh, let's look at um, you as an individual once you got done with your studies uh, what really happened did you move offices to offices to look for job opportunities or as soon as you go down you just know because you had at the back of your mind that your sister does such a business you just have to bump it maybe talk to her uh, let her help you out and you need to do this business or you first have to seek for a job opportunities regarding to the papers that you have way back from school i wanted you to help us uh, to elaborate us more about your personal uh, studies uh, life or maybe your personal life yeah, after my graduation in 2016, uh, I had to look for some small job for a living. Yeah, and uh, I worked with some Indians in Kampala. Yeah, the company was called the Discovery Trading Company. Uh, yeah, it's there in uh, 7th Street. Yeah, yeah, that's how I started my journey. <laughs> We understand how it feels like uh, when you did this very particular uh, job opportunities. How long uh, did you work with these people before you came this way? Yeah, it was just for one year, okay. but things were not moving on well, as you know. Yeah. All right. Uh, you did talk uh, something about uh, that is um, your business not only operating here. Uh, you'll be telling us more about uh, that very particular one. Did you start this business within a row? Oh, you started somewhere else and then you moved in here. Or you just uh, dreamt of doing your business in Aurora? Okay. Uh, no, we started it here. Okay. Yeah, it mm. was here. But it didn't, it did not start exactly here as you're seeing this place. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we started somewhere on the street. On the yeah. Street. On the street, yeah. Okay. Yeah. How, how was the experience like uh, in that very particular street you are doing this business? I, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining the street vendors, you get it? I'm imagining the f street vendors when it comes to rain, uh, when it comes to other uh, things, uh, you know, that disorganize them a little bit. But what is with the business of uh, people? How uh, did you manage it? Uh, managing it, you know, it wasn't easy. No. It's not easy at all. Mm. But uh, that is nature. There is no way you can do with it. You accept some, sometimes the losses and then you continue. Just work hard. Okay. Yeah. All right, uh, then, uh, our dear lovely viewers, uh, you are still uh, watching a West Nile television with a program at the Business Bank that comes away every single Wednesday, like I did say. And, of course, it's a program that runs uh, from uh, 10 a.m. Uh, to 11 a.m. You can catch us live on uh, Star Times at uh, channel 477 and then on Zuku at uh, channel uh, 473. Uh, uh, that's where you'll be getting all the information and entertainment bit of it. And apparently, we are for the Business Bank. Uh, this is a program, like I said earlier on, uh, where you learn uh, business tips and uh, you have a uh, quite number of opportunities uh, to know and see how best you can run your business, how you can do your business, and uh, whose idea you can shake and put in your business. And in this very particular uh, business bank program, we give you opportunity uh, to look up to us, the West Nile Television, and we give you the opportunity uh, to come and advertise your business with us. And of course, uh, the platform is wide, wide open for you. That is where you get all kind of things that you need with West Nile Television. Thank you so very much for still keeping it on with us and I'll urge you to still sit back and relax and this one hour is not all that much. All you need to do is uh, give us the attention uh, to look all that you need in life. That is for those who love to do business but someday who knows will as well reach your door. Yeah, we are still at Mashaba Collection. Our dear viewers, uh, thank you so very much uh, for still keeping it on uh, Western Television with the program, The Business Bank. Every single Wednesday, we are with you. Uh, like I said earlier, 
like I said earlier on, uh, we give you opportunity uh, to, of uh, course, uh, look up to us uh, to bring in your business or maybe we'll be having access to reach into your business uh, to learn more and to get more tips. Who knows? Uh, someone is somewhere watching and wanting to do the same business. This person have to get the tips right from you. Like I said, uh, it's uh, Lady Beats are doing it for you. And you can watch us on at Star Times at Channel 477 and Zuku at Channel 073. And we are in Master collection right here uh, they have got a uh, quite number of uh, things at uh, different varieties uh, that's what we're asking ourselves into uh, to find more uh, from uh, Xavier to tell us more about uh, his uh, business and of course uh, what exactly he is dealing with uh, particularly and away from that uh, yes uh, Xavier one more time uh, the attention is uh, shifted uh, towards you uh, may you please kind of tell us um, about your business Thank you very much, uh, uh, West Nile TV, for hosting me on this program. We are here at uh, Masawa Collections. Masawa Collections, uh, we deal in uh, different kind of clothes. Uh, for example, uh, men's trousers, t-shirts, jerseys. Uh, on top of that, we also deal with ladies uh, here with me. We have got uh, a material trouser. Most of the people call it uh, gentle. Uh, this is a this is a kind of stretching gentle. Yeah, it costs uh, forty thousand. Yeah, here. Yeah. There's also this other type. A square type is also a material. A gentle trouser. It is also costing uh, 40 to 35. Yeah. We have also got uh, different types of jeans and also different prices. Yeah, we have, we have the prices of jeans are ranging from, for those ones who are buying one, they are ranging from 30 like to 45. Yeah, for those ones uh, who are buying wholesale, we are starting from 22, 23 up to around 30 yes so here we have also got a uh, khaki trousers khaki trousers are for 35 to 30 we have got a uh, different kind of t-shirts t-shirts are uh, uh, the price is ranging from okay we are ranging from 15 to uh, 35 thousand for example now this one if a customer comes with 20 uh, we can give a customer yeah we have also got uh, uh, more other things just as we have putting Manchester United there is a uh, fly Emirates for those ones who are supporting Arsenal and many more kind of jerseys yeah yeah for the case of uh, shirts and t-shirts I mean for the case of t-shirts uh the wholesale price is ranging from uh, 12 to around 27 according to the type uh, your t the customer is demanding then for the shirts uh, we are ranging from 17 still also to 27 that is wholesale yeah but when someone is taking one for example the t-shirts we are ranging from 15 to 35 yeah, the shirts uh, we are ranging from uh, 17 to 27. Sorry. Yeah, we also we have also got jackets of different types. We have got uh, bomber jackets, leather, uh, panties. Also, there are t-shirts, uh, throw-ons, leggings. Uh, all those kinds of little things that are here at Masawa Collections. Yeah. In wholesale for jerseys here, we are they are ranging from 14 to around 17 according to the type. Yeah. For originals, uh, you just need to make orders. Yeah, the wholesale price of jeans, uh, we are ranging from 22 to 
to 30,000. If you come to, we have other types like sweater pants. Yeah, those ones we are selling them at a wholesale price is 30. Then the retail price, of course, you, you, you have to come with 40 or 35. Uh, got, uh, that will depend on the bargaining power a customer has. <laughs> Can you maybe specific, uh, specifically tell us uh, if it's only retail or you handle both retail and wholesale? Yeah, we are handling both retail and uh, wholesale. Yeah, for those ones who are buying one one, we can also uh, give them that service. For those ones who are buying in much uh, quantity, you also give it at a wholesale price. Yeah. Well then, uh, in Masheba Collection, Xavier, I wanted you to help us and tell us the benefit that you have uh, so, far, so far achieved in this very particular business. Uh, Masheba Collection, I can say, you know, uh, when you're doing business, uh, for us as business people, uh, you don't fast rush for maybe for assets. Okay, I can say uh, the achievement we have got in this business uh, is not all that much, but uh, we have tried to expand the business, yeah, starting away from the street up to where we are, and from here to another, some other big branch somewhere else. So, uh, concerning uh, the business uh, a benefit, it's not yet much, uh, but you have at least achieved something from it. Well, then, uh, looking at this very particular business, before I look at uh, the side, uh, the effects, I should say maybe uh, the challenges that you have been facing in this business, uh, much as we at Mashaba Collection, it's a little bit a uh, competitive business uh, from the look of things. And uh, it has been, you know, at hand done by so many people when it comes to the business of boutique. I do not yet want to look at the competitive side of this business. In a Mashaba Collection, you as you are talking about your business, um, I did see some of the uh, different kind of services operating inside a Mashaba Collection. Do you mind telling us what else you do in a Mashaba Collection apart from uh, the boutique business? Apart from the boutique, uh, we are also uh, offering our customers with some soft drinks around. Yeah, plus uh, some snacks, for example, for example, the biscuits. Yeah, this is just to keep around, just to keep the customers around. Yeah, this is just to keep the customers around. Yeah, there's also mobile money. Yeah, in case a customer is buying something and is not having cash. Yeah, we are ready to withdraw that cash on the mobile money. Well, then, uh, Xavier, uh, thank you so very much uh, for keeping this um, go lively. And then, uh, still, we roll our attention yet again to another uh, question. Uh, I was talking about a competition bit of it in this very particular business. Uh, looking at the right, uh, there's the same business. Looking at the other side, there's the same business. Front, back, the same business is still operating, uh, even upstairs. It's still the same business operating. How have you been managing uh, with your customers when it comes to a very uh, when it comes to this very particular business, as uh, since it's a uh, competitive, uh, thank you very much. Uh, managing this uh, competition, yeah, uh, it is not an easy thing. Uh, but uh, I think uh, managing it is a matter of you having some different ideas, bringing in some new things. For example, you look uh, you, uh, on top of that, also bringing some uh, things that are trending. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so <laughs> you did talk about uh, bringing in uh, trending clothes, uh, maybe perhaps the latest um, outfits uh, that can keep your customers lively, right? Well, then, our dear viewers are still on West Nile Television. Uh, most welcome if you have just a switch on. And I want to say this is um, the business bank uh, happening on West Nile Television uh, every single Wednesday uh, from 10 uh, to 11 a.m. Your host is Lady Beats. Like I said, it's our first time doing this very particular one. And of course, who 
will be continuing doing it every single Wednesdays. And we'll be reaching out to your outlet or maybe your swamp or wherever you are locating in. I will be reaching out to you uh, to see how you are trans uh, progressing with your business, how you are doing it, how the whole bit of the business you started it and the challenges and the rest of the things. And that's what we'll be looking at. And of course today we are at that is uh, Mashaba Collections with uh, Xavier uh, to learn more about uh, his uh, business tips. Uh, there's you out there who will as well need our attention. Western Television is right here for you. You can as well follow us on YouTube still at uh, this very particular program. We'll be running there. And away from that, uh, back to you gentlemen. Uh, can you please kindly tell us the challenges that you have faced in this very business since you started operating? Yeah, challenges are very many. You can't mention them all. But all the way from the streets, yeah, like uh, one of the challenges was the weather conditions. Okay. Yeah, weather condition, yeah, if uh, the time, if it rains, you find that uh, you cannot even receive customers. On top of that, uh, uh, the clothes uh, will, will get spoiled. Yeah, uh, some of the other challenges uh, we experience in this business, uh, uh, one of them is also safety. Yeah, not all customers that enter uh, in this business are customers. Some of them are trying us and see whether we are alert or not. Uh, on, top of, uh, on top of the challenges, we also have, uh, uh, we also have, uh, can I say, uh, customers who are taking uh, with the with the, who are going with debts yeah we are facing uh, we are facing a lot of such customers because uh, uh, you may trust a customer who has been buying from you and then uh, uh, after giving him uh, a credit then he ends up now going away uh, with your with what you owe to him yeah the other challenge is also the other challenge I can say uh, competition. If I talk, uh, if I talk competition, if I talk about competition, I mean we uh, we get challenges and customer. I mean other business partners who are lowering their prices for the same good for the same products that we are selling. Yeah. Uh, the other challenge is uh, the other challenge I can say uh, the other challenge language barrier yeah language barrier for example we receive customers from the neighboring countries for example the Congolese and the Sudanese who are doing business in their countries. So uh, when they come here, they are only speaking their country languages, which sometimes gives us hard time to negotiate with them. Yeah, those are some of my challenges I can tell you that I'm facing this business. So uh, managing some of these challenges, for example, uh, the, uh, if I talk of competition, uh, we try to look for some things that are trending which uh, which can compete at the same level with the other uh, business partners with the safety we just we are just uh, keeping an eye whoever customer yeah keeping an eye whoever customer comes in uh, we don't easily trust each and every customer. Uh, those who go with the, with our credits, uh, for the case of those ones, uh, we reach an extent. Uh, now we don't we don't uh, give in like much. Eh? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we can trust you with some few products and test you first. Yes, uh, Zave, you did talk about uh, that is a language barrier. Uh, how have you been managing it when it comes to this very particular business? Uh, for the case of uh, Congolese, uh, I know some little bit of Swahili. Okay. However much they don't speak the Swahili, we are speaking here in Uganda. Mm. Yeah, but uh, uh, on top of Swahili, we also we can use signs or phones. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. You can if you, if the trolls are maybe for 35 you you write for him on the phone yeah. say this is the price. Yeah. Why have you chosen a boutique business apart from any other business that you could do? Uh, why this? Uh choosing a boutique I think uh, everyone has a, I think everyone has a right to uh, like uh, to put on clothes. Okay. Yeah. In Uganda everyone is dressed. Okay. Yes, that's why I say the artist doing a boutique, it will attract uh, people who are, for example, here in town, uh, people will come, and come in and then buy clothes. All right, as we are coming to the close of this very particular show, we are talking about uh, the business bank right happening on Western Television uh, with uh, Xavier. Like we said, we had moved in for uh, that is uh, yet another interview or maybe another one on one with uh, Xavier at Mashaba Collection. Uh, rolling it back to him at this very particular juncture, what advice would you have for a youth out there, uh, if not particularly a youth, uh, maybe a viewer who is viewing you right now or who is watching right now a waste night television what advice will you have for such a person and away from that how can one locate you to have your product right with them uh thank you very much uh west Nile tv viewers and uh, the management so uh my advice uh, that goes to the youth outside there yeah i advise you to, i advise you uh, when you're starting a business, a business like this one, yeah, start with the little you have. Yeah, don't fear. Uh, just get a little you have. You start with the, with, you start slowly, slowly by slowly, until you, uh, you get uh, much more capital that can uh, make you to uh, to reach where we are now. Yeah. So. Uh, for Masaba collections, anyone who need more guru about uh, Masaba collections, you find us here. Uh, tax Park, New Tax Park, uh, Duka Road. Uh, the other branch is also uh, Market Lane. Yeah, on the Market Building, lockup number uh, 26. Yeah. Well then, it has been our share moment with uh, Mashaba Collection right here in the studios of West Nile Television. Our dear viewers, thank you so very much for keeping it locked on uh, West Nile TV with the program at uh, the Business Bank uh, that runs your uh, that runs your screen every single Wednesdays uh, from 10 a.m. up to 11 a.m. And of course, one solid hour is what we give out to you to learn more about your business and uh, to get tips about your business. And this is where West Nile TV gets you covered. That's why we are here we are lighting up the region and of course salutation to my producer that is a Philando for doing it our show it has been lady beats your host let's meet again next next week